dirterotic.com. Jeez, I know, man. It's crazy. And uh, this West World was, thank God it's it's over now, at least for the foreseeable future. It was awful. We, we've got Doctor Who stuff. We got Star Wars stuff. Uh, the Last of Us poo and uh, other things like that. Just a lot of lot of lot of horrible things going on in the world. Yeah, there's a, a Doctor Who story we're going to talk about tonight. That's going out there, an, an access media lie. I know, big shocker, the access oh, yeah. media lies. And uh, I believe there's a narrative out there that's trying to come after people who criticize Doctor Who, like we're going after Emily Cook, which we're not. So a complete lie. That's complete right. Complete lie. Another one. So. Uh, but we do need to start with Westworld as people roll in. And again, we'll talk about it for, you know, 20, 25 minutes. And then we're going to move on to a proper inquisition. And then next week they start earlier again. And we don't have to watch a horrible show. I, I'll i be honest with you. I, I try to be as transparent as possible. I skipped through portions of this show. All the walking up slowly to things. Uh, I didn't need to see a bunch of henchmen die again. It was completely predictable. Um, I didn't uh, care about a single character, and I just wanted it to be over. Yes, that's exactly how I felt, although I did more or less watch it. But uh, I tweeted out a few things during it, and um, Jesus, it was so bad. Uh, I mean, how many, how many scenes were identical where uh, humans would get the drop, a group of humans would get the drop on... Aaron Paul or Dolores, and put it out, 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 and then Dolores would go pow, 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 and they'd fall. Or Aaron Paul would go yo, 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 and they would fall. I mean, I, 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 it was it was absolutely ridiculous. Over and over and over and over again, we're clear shots when Dolores is out on the fucking bridge, and 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 they're all like just standing there, and she's she's flipping around and doing bitch foo. And, uh, and, and and kicking ass and, and and twirling around and they're just missing. They're just flat ass missing. It was incredible. It prompted me to tweet one of the one of my favorite tweets of all time here, which is, "Westworld is the story of a sci-fi dystopian future where every human being on Earth has forgotten how to shoot, and thus the broadsides of Barnes inherited the Earth." I just thought that that was about as good as I've ever done. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and they deserve it. Uh, I don't like the robots. I don't like the humans. Uh, we live in, in this world that they set up has drones that can hit people directly in the heart from an iPad. Yet nobody thought to use those against the robots. No, uh, Dolores was just so smart. She was just a step ahead of everyone. And as I predicted, D Dolores would be completely successful until the end when the rug would be pulled out, uh, out from her by another Dolores. So only Dolores <laughs> can defeat right. Dolores. And the, they were so, you know, listen, the symbolism was way more important than the actual story. We needed to have the female mentoring the man and allowing him to make the choice. And of course, you know, we found out why she chose Aaron Paul's character because Aaron Paul didn't drape her in the past when he was there doing some tr army training exercise. Uh, that's a key, by the way, I'm not going to say the real, real word, but uh, the ar <laughs> when Aaron Paul was in the military, they were doing training exercises in Westworld and they had freed some hostages and the op was over and a couple of the army buddies, because it was a bunch of white guys were like, Hey, let's go drape those ladies over there. And he said, no, you should go back in. And his buddy went, okay. And they walked back in. So, uh, I mean, let's forget the fact that a guy was talking about, you know, even if it was robots, uh, being like those rich assholes, as he said, and then he was easily talked out of it. So very, very so, easily, very easily talked out of it. And that's why Dolores chose him. Yeah. Very well, subtle symbolism there. Um, oh, very much so. It was really interesting that now we know where the missing uh, 30 seconds of that Gillette ad went. Ah. Uh, it's basically the bro, do, bro not cool. Not, not cool, cool, bro. bro. Sh sh shaming the, the bro. Uh, so it went it went there. Uh, I just think that's this is just so sad. It's so dumb. 
It's so we, so dumb. yeah. So uh, Dolores died twice in this episode. She died early on. By the way, the Man in Black is such a terrible character. Now they took one of the best characters and just, I mean, assassinated uh, him completely. Uh, and and his ending was terrible. And yeah. so Tessa Thompson uh, is evil master uh, mustache twirling Dolores now. Yes. And listen, there, there's nothing really happened. It was, again, just we're going through the motions where Maeve is fighting Dolores. Dolores is setting up Caleb to be the revolutionary, although they don't show any leaders in this world. It's a, it, they didn't do a lot of world building, and which it was required. We needed to see, like, who the leader was of America and, you know, like Paris is gone. So what, what other cities are gone? What was this war about? I have no idea. It was just about tearing down the world so they can build a new one. That was all it was. And that was supposed to be the inspirational decision. Dolores said, no. we're going to give them a choice. We, <laughs> yeah. They can either die or tear down their world where lots of people would die anyway. So it was right. so freaking nihilistic. It was, oh God, especially now, like r- watching this now. Yes, it, it is uh, absolutely pathetic. It was, and I don't know why things are blowing up like they are. And I mean, everything in this was very predictable. Everything in this was was absolutely predictable, painfully so. Uh, it just, you know, I mean, we haven't gone through the plot or anything, but every single twist is uh, is terribly predictable, other than maybe the Bernard thing. But it's just because I didn't care enough to be wondering about who had the key or even even forgetting what the key was or who gives a damn about it. And I still don't, I don't, I don't really quite gather who cares about the key or why it's so damn important. Um, maybe you can, I don't know. Maybe we can figure uh, it out I together. Forgot, the key, I always thought the key was because Rohobaum was locking everybody out and they needed that key. He needed something to, to set it straight or whatever. And I forgot, uh, cause I care so little about this show. I probably it, said it, something. It, so, Exactly. I think I think it was uh, in retrospect that the key was the key to uh, the anvil's uh, data that that Delos had amassed that uh, Rohoban couldn't get into. Yep. And if Rohoban could only get into that data, then he would be an AI. You know, <laughs> he, yes. wanted to, he was an AI that wanted to be an AI. And oh. so he had to get the key to be to be a better AI and totally understand the human race as opposed to only kind of understanding the human race. Uh, you know, like like there were the blind spots, the outliers. So apparently if if Rohoban could could get the key to the Delo stuff, then Rohoban would have total awareness of of all of humanity or some shit like that. I just wanted I think everybody that's what it to was. die. <laughs> Me too. I really was really everybody, for yes. destruction at the end of this. I was like, I, I, go yes. apocalypse. I was hoping that like when she said, look, darling, and, he, and they both looked, I hoped it was like a rolling wall of flame, atomic flame, like just rolling to wipe out everything. That's what I was actually hoping. But instead, we got a few lame ass explosions from office build, unrelated office buildings. I don't know. Somebody left the propane on up there. I don't know what's going on. So, Why would there be explosions? <laughs> I remember the random, like Clementine was back a couple episodes and then she right. just never showed up again. And nah. like we're having yeah. random characters showed up, you, you know, showing up, you know what story they completely missed in this is the robots escape Westworld all hell bent for revenge. And then they get out into the world and they're like, Oh, it's kind of cool out here. And yeah. Some of them start falling into society. You could have done a whole season of that of just trying to rally the troops or some of them break off and they, you know, fall in, you fall in love with a human or something. There's a million right. things you could have done, but uh, they're just rushing towards the end. So the big news was Westworld got picked up for a season four, but that was a canceled season. So they're getting a last season. That's, that's all. They haven't come out and said that, but that's what I've heard definitively that it's going to be less episodes uh, because you know, it's going to, it's, and it's still going to be like a year and a half till you get one, probably two, and then they're going to end it. It's over. Um, and where have we seen this before? Hmm. Black where have we seen this before? Did, and how did it, it almost a out? year ago today? <laughs> <laughs> oh, you know, I forgot to check that. Hang on. 
I don't know, yeah, when it was, but I, you know, remember how the episodes, the length of the seasons just kept getting shorter and shorter as they were rushing and rushing towards a, a denouement, and uh, it didn't really work out that well, actually. Yeah. It kind of yeah. sucked. It kind of blew. It kind of ruined. Of course, this is blown in advance. This this show is blown in advance way more than Game of Thrones blew in advance uh, up to the. Up oh to yeah, that, and it's been a year. Point. It's been a year and about five days since you and wow. I melted down uh, right after <laughs> the long night. Oh, I remember it like it was yesterday. Oh, me too. Happy anniversary! Happy anniversary, man. We had twenty four thousand people watching the live stream. <laughs> that was, that was outstanding. Um, yeah, so. We would have 24,000 today if YouTube was uh, actually promoting us, but never mind. Nah, yeah, that, that you do what we can. We do what we can. You know what? We thank you guys. If it wasn't for you guys, yeah, nobody would that's know right. us at all. So, um, yeah, the, the plot was Dolores succeeded until she didn't. And then, uh, what Doomcock said, guess what? So, she was setting what we thought is we thought she was setting up Caleb to destroy man but she's going to lead he's going to lead man and women uh after the destruction of the world she's going to tear the world down because this robot just made this decision for all of humanity because why i don't know uh was it left over from ford's plan remember in the first uh they didn't even flash back to this i don't think uh in the first season ford you know has a little monologue where he's talking about how you know man has achieved everything and we're kind of bored now, and that's why the Westworld Park exists. And uh, it was a very nihilistic view of the world, of course, and maybe she got it from that. I'm trying to figure it out. But no, it was just uh, a because she is a pretty blonde woman, she gets to make decisions for the world. So I guess it's pretty much like Hollywood. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Hollywood projects so much on our society, just like that whole, we're going to pick uh, Caleb, because he's an ally, because he chose not to drape a woman. Like all men just go ahead and do that every day. Like we get up in the morning going, ah, man, I need to do some draping. Uh, no, uh, but maybe in Hollywood, maybe that's the case in Hollywood, but not, not so much here uh, in the real world. No, movie. not really. No, I mean, with some people, of course, but, uh, for the most part, uh, no. So, um, C Caleb, w what a waste of Aaron Paul. Like, absolute waste. He, the whole series, he had his mouth gaping open the whole time. He was the Manzel in distress. And now he's going to be led around by Maeve. By Maeve. Uh, there was a battle at the, God, I just, it was so boring. So the man in black escapes Bernard and Stubbs. Stubbs gets injured. Um, I forgot the name of the character who came back just for a second to help him. He was from the SFPD. I don't know. And how the hell did he know to go? How the hell did he know to show up and help Bernard there? I, was, I they acted like, like, uh, fucking, you know, uh, Dolores had this master plan and knew they'd be there and showed up to go ahead and, and stop Bernard or steer him or save the, I don't know what the hell they were doing. Also, they tried to make out like this was all Dolores's master plan. Like she selected Aaron Paul at the start when actually Aaron Paul just stumbles across her and helps her. Remember that? Yeah. They want us not to remember the way the first episode started. That's exactly. And they, well, for one, I mean, there might be some confusion. I'm still trying to work out. Was it Tessa Thompson blowing shit up? Maybe she was blowing shit up. Why? I think she was. Yeah. So From it's where? Dolores. It's still Dolores. So th there's, there's good Dolores and bad Dolores now. And she's split. <laughs> Uh, there might be another Dolores party. What they did was they shipped the original Dolores body uh, FedEx to Caleb and, you know, she just puts her skin back on and uh, she, you know, gives him a little out of boy. You're going to make these decisions. We're going to do this. And they go to Rehoboam and uh, Maeve is still inexplicably fighting Doris, Dolores. I have no idea why she's still doing this for her fake daughter, whatever. Uh, Bernard and Stubbs is uh, dying and injured the whole episode. Uh, and Bernard goes to his house and sees his, uh, well, it, the guy he's copied, uh, his old, his wife, who's older now. And he has a little crying scene and then he has to go back to a home and he gets, he gets the little, cause it turns out that, uh, again, Dolores master plan. It was Bernard. He was the key to everything. He had the key in his head 
and he has to put on a little space hat and go go somewhere and we don't get to see where he goes we find out what happens when he wakes up again which was basically the same ending for season two we essentially got the same ending that we got in season two and it was a repeat of season two except in the real world it was just breaking everything down to chaos Mm -hmm. uh dolores is hooked up to rohobam and uh, the, the the bad guy monologues for a little while way too long while mave is trying to do her best Darth Vader in front of the Emperor. Uh, she eventually, yeah. <laughs> she eventually, guess what? Big shock. Maeve decides to change sides at the end after she has a little dream sequence scene with Dolores, who all of a sudden wants to see the beauty in the world after she's been killing people left and right. I mean, just what's the death count? I, I, oh, it's 15 almost Picard trillion. level. Yeah, it's almost it's Picard. The bazillion T nine. Yeah. It's it's a lot. I mean, she was jumping around, her face twisted with hate uh, anytime anyone would actually lay a hit on her. Uh, she was a complete horrible, horrible, horrible creation. And uh, But no, no, all along she was fighting for humanity, which was as I predicted it uh, all along. I said either, you know, they're going to make it so that, oh, she was actually good all along and she was trying to save us all from ourselves. And that's basically kind of more or less what she was trying to do. Just for everybody. Yeah, I, I I saw, you know, I finally peeked and it looks like some of the people reviewing the show are finally starting to turn on it and figure out that it's just, uh, I mean, it, it wasn't even, uh, I mean, it's typical woke for woke world, but it was just boring. I mean, that's really boring, really tangled, really... boring, overly elaborate, pretentious. Uh, you can't have 50 bazillion copies of Dolores and have it mean anything. And she keeps dying or not dying or coming. Who cares? Who cares? Who cares? It's a shell game where no one gives a damn about the shell. Yep. Rather just walk away. So we end the episode with a dead Dolores. They end up shutting off and erasing Rehoboam. Uh, Maeve kills uh, the bad guy from Ocean's 13 uh, and takes off with uh, Caleb. And they watched the end of the world to Dark Side of the Moon from Pink Floyd, which is a shame they use such good music oh, for it. God, what then a waste. Then there's a huge stinger scene at the end. I don't know why they bothered ending the show right there. And then there's this huge stinger scene where we see the man in black uh, find Tessa Thompson Dolores, and he gets killed. He just gets killed by himself. And it looks like, oh, Tessa Thompson Dolores is building a bunch of hosts. So yep. there's going to be a host human war during the apocalypse and blah, blah, blah. Uh, and now we didn't see him definitively die, but his throat was slashed. So I'm pretty sure he's dead. Yeah. Uh, and then the very, I hope so. <laughs> yes. And at the end we see uh, Bernard covered in dust and he, after he has this little, he put this little, like little ring hat on, which takes him. Uh, that's what, that was the key. And it takes him to, I forgot what, place he was going to but he wants strawberry to fields strawberry fields that's right and uh he wants to see what happens after the end of the world and he wakes up uh in a distant future just like uh william did at the end of season two uh, whatever happened to william's daughter wasn't she haunting him for a while and now she's gone yeah, she just left that was a shaggy dog story right there yeah it was yeah. pointless it was pointless Pointless exercise. And after watching every episode, I'm pissed that we had to start the Inquisition late for it every Sunday. I'm so glad we don't have to do that anymore. God, me too. It's tiring. It's really tiring. No, and I, I have no desire to watch the next season. I'm done. I'm not going. Yeah, this shit. I, I think it's pointless. And nobody gives a shit. No, no. The the ratings were trash. Despite what HBO uh, ran, uh, again, Access Media lying when they announced season four, they said they get 9 million viewers across all platforms. Uh, bullshit, HBO. That is total bullshit. You get, and during a lockdown, you can't even get a million watching you overnight. So, I, I oh, there must be I, I, oh, eight and a half million people out there waiting to watch Westworld afterwards. Um, no, I don't think so. Mm. So uh, they added the number. That's, that's all the episodes across all their platforms around the world that's not Probably. here in the united states so uh yeah is that is that your opinion or do you think have you heard that that is what it is 
That's not my that opinion. That is actually no, what no. it is. What's, what, the people watching it in the United States are, it's about a million and a half people watching it in the United States. You take the uh, overnight numbers and you double them. And it's generally, and they said that. They said that um, in the video I did on Nerdrotic Live in an article. They said, yeah, there's about 1.5, 1.6 million people watching the episodes. Wow. There's 700,000, 800,000 watching them overnight. What's wrong with these people? <laughs> I don't know. Well, yeah, I mean, I mean it's like they they're don't locked all, down or they're something. Not all on YouTube or reviewers, are they? So what the hell? I think HBO, I mean, HBO has a fan base for its work. So there's enough for what it's done in the past. There's enough people who just watch anything HBO, I guess. Um, this was genuinely substandard. Not visually. Visually, it was top notch. But, but in every way, conceptually, tonally, uh, intellectually, it was substandard. And I'm just so sick of substandard shit. I really am. I'm just, I'm just so fed up with the mediocrity in the world. I'm just fed up with it, man. It just, it just makes me want to just choke. You know, I just hate watching this shit. I, every Sunday, it seems like we have to get, suffer through fucking Doctor Who, and then we have to suffer through this. Hey, there's another good show you can look forward to coming HBO. Uh, the Last of no. Us. <laughs> nerderotic.com please subscribe